Hey, my name is Bobby from Wedding Film School and our friends at Polar Pro recently sent us something pretty cool. The Peter McKinnon Variable ND Filter version two, this time with mist. After using them extensively, we've got to say they are pretty awesome. So now the only question is mist or no mist. Let's dive into what makes these filters some of the best on the market for wedding filmmakers. The Peter McKinnon Variable ND version 2 Mist Edition is a pretty groundbreaking piece of kit from Polar Pro, and it expands on the already solid Peter McKinnon Variable ND line of filters. This filter has great optics, haptic feedback as you switch stops, rock solid construction, and even the innovative Defender 360 filter protection system to keep your fingerprints off the filter and protect it when you throw it in your case. The new Mist Edition takes these awesome features and adds diffusion to the filter to make it a first of its kind variable ND with Mist. It's a pretty impressive piece of equipment that justifies a somewhat hefty price tag by screaming premium from the moment you touch it to the time you sit down in the edit bay and review the footage. For those that don't know, let's first get some definitions down. A VND or variable neutral density filter is one of the most useful tools a wedding filmmaker can throw into their bag of tricks. Basically, an ND filter is a filter that knocks down the amount of light let into the camera. Now, why would you want less light? The number one reason is it gives you the ability to get the beautiful bokeh by shooting a more open aperture on your lenses while keeping your shutter speed at double your frame rate, which I know is in itself a controversial topic in the wedding world, but that's not what this video is for. A variable ND filter is one that lets you rotate the filter to dial in more or less light. This is super useful in the ever-changing lighting conditions of a wedding day. What's great about this filter is it not only takes the usefulness of a VND, but it adds the diffusion of a mist filter. A mist filter creates a filmic softness and interesting halation that makes the light spread beyond its source in a very dreamlike way. It's a stylized look, but many love it because it helps tone down the unflattering sharpness of many modern lenses and cameras, and it helps make the footage look more like old film. The PMV ND2 with mist does both of these and it does them really well. So let's look at the features of this filter that can be found in both the mist and non-mist version. The PMV ND2 comes in a two to five stop version as well as a six to nine stop version. And the more stops, the less light. We found for most settings, the two to five stop was enough ND for us. But if you do wanna shoot at F1.2 in full noonday sun, you might wanna go for the six to nine stop version. You may also want to consider the 6 to 9 stop version if your camera has a higher native ISO and shooting at that native ISO is important to you. The preset stop ranges with a haptic feedback are something we mostly enjoy during a crazy wedding day. For those that have never shot with a traditional VND, most have a clickless rotation to go between stops and it's easy to shoot between stops. And you might wonder, why is this bad? Well, because of how NDs work, this can create unpleasing vignetting and cross polarization that looks really bad. And it might be easy to miss in camera on a small screen, only to realize later in editing that a shot is unusable. The PMV ND2 eliminates this issue and lets you change your filter settings with confidence by having hard stops and by providing some haptic feedback as you switch. The feature kind of just disappears into the experience and you forget what it was like to shoot without it and that's the sign of good design. However, I will note that because of the hard stops and the resistance in rotating the filter out of those stops, this filter does not work well with a magnetic attachment system, which is what I was previously using. Instead of spinning the front element of the filter and changing stops, the resistance is too high and it ends up spinning the entire filter on the magnetic attachment instead, thus kind of accomplishing nothing. Polar Pro calls their new storage system the Defender 360. Basically, it's a rubberized cover that doubles as a kind of grip for handling the filter. This allows you to put on and take off this filter without letting your dirty fingers touch it. It also acts as a lens cap if you prefer to store the lens with the filter on it. The Defender 360 system is also waterproof and dustproof when closed entirely, which is a major plus for elopement wedding filmmakers or those shooting outside a lot in areas with dust or sand. Overall, the Defender 360 system is definitely a small touch, 
but the attention to detail is what sets this thing apart from other VNDs. And honestly, as soon as I started using it, it made me wonder why nobody else had thought of it. Now let's talk about mist. If you've never shot with mist, you might say, I don't get it. You want your image to be softer? Well, for a long time, our industry has had an increased focus on sharper, sharper, sharper. More pixels, more detail. For some, this is a welcome direction, but for many in the wedding industry specifically, the extreme sharpness and increased pixel counts of much of the modern gear creates an unflattering hyper-realism that just doesn't match the vision that they have of, you know, making people and places look their best. So mist filters have become a valuable tool. Not only does this softness look flattering and beautiful, the added halation creates a dreamlike spread to direct light sources. The PMV ND2 with mist adds 1 8 stop of mist to their stellar variable ND, making it the only filter of its kind on the market. Combining both eliminates the need to stack filters, which honestly just sucks. And it also ensures the two filters play nice with each other and always looks their best. We found the 1 8 stop of diffusion to be the perfect amount for weddings. It's just enough to make a difference without looking like a overly cheesy effect. Comparing the non-mist to the mist edition, we found them to be optically identical, aside of course from the mist effect. So should you get the mist version or not? Well, that depends if you like the look of mist and don't mind always having to have an ND filter on to use it. And if that's the case, it's pretty amazing. The two-in-one feature is actually the thing we love the most, and we think it's also a little bit problematic though. One of the things we don't like about shooting with mist is that it can set the look of your entire film, necessitating the need for it on all of your lenses all day. And this can be easy enough to do when you only need to add diffusion and not ND, but adding the VND to the mix means that you may not be able to keep the filter on in low light conditions without cranking your ISO, which means to keep the diffusion, you might need to get a mist filter without any ND. It's nothing wrong with this filter, of course, and it's not a deal breaker, but it is something to consider. Do you want mist for all your shots, or do you just want it for the portrait work? Do you own a lot of mist filters already and you don't mind switching as the day gets darker? Either way, for many, the PMV ND2 with mist is still likely the perfect filter. And that's the thing, no gear is perfect for all filmmakers in all settings. What makes the Peter McKinnon Variable ND version 2 from Polar Pro special is its mix of innovative features and premium build quality. It truly stands out in our industry, and in our opinion, it should make its way into many wedding filmmakers' kits every single wedding. It's that good. We hope you found this review helpful. If you have any questions, leave them below in the comments, and be sure to check out the other videos on this channel, including behind the scenes of real live wedding films, gear reviews, editing tutorials, our weekly podcast, The Wedding Film School Show, and our live film reviews. Thanks so much for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.